Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually coming to you guys with a new nail design, new nail tutorial. Um, I just recently peeled off uh, the purple design that I did. The video will be linked down below or you can check out all my nail tutorials. I have a nail playlist of course on my channel so feel free to check that out. But today I'm going to be trying, I'm just going to be trying. You guys are gonna be just as shocked as I am with the results, whether good, bad, or ugly. I'm gonna be trying marbled nails, which ooh, I'm excited about. Um, I was looking to see if I can find a burnt orange in my collection, but I do not. Um, so today I'm going to be doing like a rose gold chrome type marble nail um, and I'm going to be using actually Sensation Nail products which are most of the products I do own. I don't just go shopping for nail polishes anymore. So you're going to need an LED or UV lamp if you're working with gel polishes. Now, of course, you guys can create this with regular polish, but keep in mind that the wait time of drying each layer is insane for most people myself included. Um, so I'm going to be using Midnight Rendezvous uh, by Sensation Nail. I'll be using White Lily, which my bottle's a little jacked up, and I have to be super careful with this bottle next to the light because it's cracked. These are older bottles, of course. And then I'm going to be using Going for the Rose Gold, which is one of my favorite shades from Sensation Nail. I'm also going to be using my uh, matte top coat which I'll have all these products, of course, linked down below. And I'll be using my Elite 99 No Wipe Top Coat, which is one of my favorite top coats ever. Like, you don't have to wipe it. And I'm gonna be using a Born Pretty Chrome Powder that I've had for a couple years now. On this angled brush, um, it's an eyeliner brush. I don't have any thin brushes or art brushes, but feel free to use whatever thin brush you have. And then I have a makeup sponge here for my chrome nails. So let's get started. I need a thin layer of the White Lily color, which is actually one of the whitest um, gel polishes that I have used. Um, I cleaned my nails with alcohol. You're going to need that, which I forgot to mention, but I mentioned it in all my other videos. But if you're new here, you're gonna need alcohol. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a thin layer of the white gel polish on each nail, and I'm going to cure it for one minute. Cure this for one minute, and then I'm gonna do the rest of the nails and come back to you guys. I'm gonna add another decent coat of the Sensational White Lily. And you could use any white polish or gel polish that you love or have, whatever. I'm gonna use an old receipt and I'm gonna take the shade Midnight Rendezvous, which I should have done ahead of time. So I'm gonna take the shade Midnight Rendezvous. I'm gonna put a nice, decent dot of it. Take some of the go, uh, Going for the Rose Gold. This is such a beautiful, rich, rose gold shade it's one of my favorite shades ever just in case i'm going to take a dollop of the white and i'm going to take a little bit of the black just a tiny bit oh my god wish me luck oh i don't like it right i quite fucking hate this to be honest so i'm going to go in take some alcohol and i'm going to show you the beauty of gel i'm just going to wipe it off all right, I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna go ahead and put a generous amount of white gel polish on my finger. Listen, guys, I'm not, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I'm not happy with it. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna It's like the vein, right? You wanna do the vein and you kinda of wanna just kinda of like, I don't know. That I like a lot better <laughs> than what I was doing to be honest. And then I'm just building up a little bit more of the black. Back in with the brush. And kind of just kinda of Blend that out a little bit more. Mm. 
just to make it look more smoky in a sense. I'm gonna clean off my brush and go into the gold. And that's the thing, I don't, you know what I mean? I just don't know how to go about putting the gold in between. So I'm just kind of winging it. Again, do this at your own peril. <laughs> okay, so I got a, the right amount of rose gold. Not too bad. I like it. I'm gonna do the thumb, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cure this nail while I work on the thumb. Okay, so I decided that I wanna do the thumb so I'm gonna do a healthy helping. And I'm gonna try to do as best as I can to get this on camera. I'm gonna do my thumb. And I'm just gonna start like right at the bottom here. My hand's shaky, so this is working out really good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wipe that off and go in with the gold. Just gonna take this. Like dope, dope AF. So I'm gonna cure this. <laughs> Looks really good. That's amazing balls. All right, so before I cure this nail, I'm gonna go in and add, this one's gonna be matte white, just a simplistic matte white. I applied one more coat of the white here. I did the marble here, so these two nails are wet, and I'm gonna go in and apply my no wipe top coat to the middle nail, because this is what's gonna help the chrome adhere. Going to cure this for one minute under the LED lamp my chrome and then rub it in. Point, I'm gonna um, reapply my no wipe top coat only to this nail and it's gonna crystallize a little bit but I still like the chrome effect that it leaves. I really do. And then the rest of the nails are going to get the matte top coat and I'm going to cure this all for one minute and come right back. Hey my love, so this is the completed nail tutorial. I switched it up with leaving the matte white in a different finger, but I did pretty much try to keep it within the same theme. I love, this is actually one of my favorite nail uh, tutorials that I've done thus far. It did take me long, so hopefully you guys bear with me. Um, I'm gonna leave all the products here linked down below. And for the best cuticle cream, elbow cream, anything cream, knees, shoulders, you know, head, shoulders, knees, and toes type thing. I even use this on my scalp. This is a black owned brand. This is Meticulous Skin. I'll leave their Instagram and their webpage linked down below. So they do pretty much any scent of kind of lotions that you want. Um, I did the Elang, Elang, and Coconut and oh my God, do I love it. And look how nice my cuticles look. They don't look as ashy as they did earlier. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.